Dr. James Hansen, the former director of NASA, a world renowned climate scientist, and one of the first people to bring the issue of climate change to the American public's attention and to Congress's attention, uh, has issued a dire warning this week. He tells us uh, as part of a new study that's coming out has yet to be peer reviewed, um, but uh, an, uh, in an article along with uh, the new study, he tells us that human beings, specifically the United States, we are not doing enough to address the threat of climate change and we're not doing enough to negate the effects and stop climate change. While Hansen does admit that, hey, this Paris Accord on climate, it is a great thing, it is not enough. It's not even close to being enough. And here's why, when you have a deal where 10 months after it comes up, we're still getting excited because, ooh, another country has signed on and said, yeah, once we get more people, we'll all meet this. We're 10 months away from when that thing was first uh, proposed, announced, uh, decided. And we still don't even have all the countries who have said yes or no to it yet. We've lost a year on climate change action because of that. And even the goals set by the Paris deal are not enough, according to Dr. James Hansen. In fact, Hansen says that at this point, because we have stalled so long on action, it's no longer about reducing carbon emissions. That will not do enough at this point to stave off this 20 foot sea level rise that could be happening within the next couple centuries here. Instead, we now have to work on not only emissions reduction, but carbon capture, carbon sequestration. We have to physically suck carbon dioxide out of our atmosphere at this point and store it somewhere else. Now he does point out that uh, soil is able to hold three times more carbon dioxide than the atmosphere, and that is a viable solution. Here's the problem. It will cost hundreds of trillions of dollars to do this, according to Hansen himself. And that money may not exist. There literally might not be enough money, enough resources left in the world to negate all of the effects of climate change because we have waited so long. Hansen warned the world about climate change more than 30 years ago. Um, back in 2009, I had the opportunity, I, I met with him at a, a conference in Atlanta, Georgia, um, where we discussed climate change. And that was one of the issues he talked about back then in 2009, when I spoke with him about the fact that we're just not doing anything. The partisan gridlock in Washington, DC is part of the problem, but it stretches well beyond American borders. Ironically, at this uh, uh, climate change summit I was at with Hansen uh, in Atlanta, Georgia, deep south, if you will, it was snowing at the end of February, which was unseasonable uh, for that particular part of the country. And so it was just a bit ironic that at a summit where we're talking about climate change, we also experience one of these extreme weather anomalies. Um, that point aside, Hansen is absolutely right. As I have said time and time again, for every step forward the Obama administration has made on climate change, we're taking two steps backward. It's a net loss. And it's not just the United States, it does stretch well beyond our borders. And as Hansen points out in this new paper, it may be too late at this point. We might not be able to fix all of the problems. We most likely can't fix all of the problems. We most likely cannot stop it from happening at this point. And it's all because we can't get it together and get off of fossil fuels, even though the technology to do so absolutely exists, it is viable, and it is available. We as a species just refuse to do it.